2023 looks to be an exciting year in space. How well can you predict what will happen? Play the Space Prediction Challenge, and if you're the best, you might win a prize of nominal value. Grab a piece of paper and a pen to write down your answers, and we'll get started. We'll start with Starship. Number one, the number of successful orbital launches, where success means Starship gets into whatever trajectory SpaceX was aiming for. Number two, the number of super heavy landings at the launch site where success means the booster could be reused with a reasonable amount of maintenance. Number three, the number of successful orbital landings of Starship, where successful means a soft landing at the designated landing site. Number four, the number of full stack launches from pad 39A in Florida. 2023 promises launches of rockets old and new. Write down your predicted successful flight counts for each of these launchers. Number five, Falcon Heavy. Number six, Vulcan. Number seven, SLS. Number eight, Ariane 6. Number nine, Terran 1. Number 10, RS-1. Number 11, Electron. Number 12, Electron might be the second rocket featuring reflown boosters. How many Electron flights will feature boosters that were recovered and refurbished? There are two suborbital companies that may fly humans in 2023. Question 13. How many crewed flights will Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 complete in 2023? And 14. How many crewed flights will Blue Origin's New Shepard complete in 2023? Number 15. Rocket Lab is building a new engine known as Archimedes to be used on the Neutron Launcher. Will Rocket Lab test a full version of this engine at Stennis Space Center in Mississippi in 2023? Answer yes or no. Number 16. Blue Origin has been making progress on New Glenn. Will New Glenn flight hardware be in place on the pad at Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station? Flight hardware means hardware that could actually perform a launch. It could be a flight booster with engines or a full stack. Pathfinders do not count. Number 17, the number of successful moon landings. Lunar landing success will be measured by successful contact with the lander at least one day after the landing. Here are the entrants. Japan's iSpace has the Hakuda R lander. Intuitive Machines has their Nova C lander, which currently has two missions planned for 2023. Astrobotic has their Peregrine lander. Both the Nova C and Peregrine are part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program, or CLPS. That's four possible landings. And we're just getting started. The Indian Space Agency, ISRO, will take another shot at landing their Vikram lander, which crashed in a previous mission. Japan's Space Agency, JAXA, will send their SLIM lander. And finally, Roscosmos will send their Luna Glob, or Luna 25 lander. That's seven possible landings. How many do you think will be successful? To play the game, submit your answers in a comment to this video. Your comment should be in the following format, with the number of the question followed by your guess. If it's not in this format, I may decide that it's invalid. Scoring. For numeric questions, your score is the difference between your guess and the actual answer. You guess four, the answer was two, you score two points. For yes-no questions, a correct answer is zero points, 
and an incorrect answer is one point. Lower scores are obviously better. Flight means a successful flight. The vehicle was delivered into the intended trajectory. Partial success counts as a failure. I may need to make some judgment calls about success. The decision of the judge is final. Comments submitted after January 31st are invalid. Early in 2024, I'll publish the results, and the person with the lowest score will receive a space-related prize of nominal value. Do not get your hopes up. If there are multiple winners, I will choose one at random. If you enjoyed this video, please put $10 on red. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new lunar rover.